In this lesson, we are going to consider the question, is the data counted or measured? When we consider the question, is the data counted or measured, there are two types of data for us to think about. One type is called categorical data, and the other is called numerical data. Categorical data is data that can fit into categories. So it can be organized into different types of categories depending on what the information is. So for example, if we did a survey where one of the questions was, what is your favorite color? Possible answers, and therefore possible categories, could be blue, red, green, yellow, purple, or other. So each of those colors is a possible response, and it's also a possible category that the responses can fit into. Compare this to numerical data, which, as you might be able to imagine, numerical data is any data represented by real numbers. So again, if we had a survey question, let's say this time the question is, how tall are you? Possible responses could be 130 centimeters, 140 centimeters, 145 centimeters, 172 centimeters, 180 centimeters, or 191 centimeters. Now these are not the only answers to that question, but they certainly are real numbers that could be answers to the question, how tall are you? In the next two slides, we're going to take a closer look at categorical and numerical data. As I just discussed, categorical data is any data that can be organized into categories. Now, categorical data can be nominal. Now, nominal data is data that can be identified by categories, but the data cannot be organized in any natural order. Gender is an example of nominal data. The categories are either male or female, but there's no natural order for us to organize the data male or female. There's no natural way that we can list either male first or female first. Another example might be how you get to school. You might get to school by walking, on the bus, taking a ride in your parents' car, car or by bicycle, skateboard, or some other method. However, there's no natural order for us to list those ways that you get to school. Categorical data can also be ordinal. Ordinal data can be identified by categories, and ordinal data can be placed in a specific order or organized in a natural order or a natural way. For example, pressure from schoolwork can be organized using a continuum with none, very little, some, and a lot of pressure. So it's obvious that this is ordered in a continuum in some natural way. The second type of data that we discussed is numerical data. Now you remember numerical data is any data that is represented by real numbers. Again, there are two types of numerical data that we're going to examine. The first type is discrete. Discrete data is data that can only assume a limited or finite number of different responses. For example, the number of people who live in your house. The number of people who live in your house will produce a limited or a finite number of different responses. For example, you might have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on, number of people who live in your house. You may not have two decimal two five, or 4.19, or 7.84 people living in your house. People are not represented by decimals, they're represented by whole numbers. So because of that, we can assume a limited or a finite number of different responses. The second type of numerical data is called continuous. Now continuous data is data that can assume an unlimited or an infinite number of different responses. An example of continuous data is height. So for your height, you could be 180.1 centimeters, you could be 
164 decimal 5 centimeters and so on so because of the decimals because of the different heights there can we can assume an unlimited or an infinite number of different responses another example of continuous data might be the length of your right foot and again your right foot might be 17 decimal 4 centimeters it might be 19 decimal 2 centimeters whichever the case there's an unlimited or an infinite number of different responses when the data is continuous. To summarize this lesson, let's take a look at the two types of data and the best way to represent each type of data using graphs. Data can either be categorical or numerical. Categorical data can be nominal which means the data cannot be organized in any natural order or categorical data can be ordinal which means the data can be placed in a specific or natural order. Nominal data is best represented with a bar graph or a circle graph. Ordinal data is also best represented with either a bar graph or a circle graph. Numerical data can be discrete, which means the data has a limited or finite number of different responses. Or numerical data can be continuous, which means the data has an unlimited or infinite number of responses. Discrete data is best represented with a bar graph, a circle graph, a line graph, or a histogram. Continuous data can be best represented with a line graph or a histogram. That's it for this lesson. As always, you can download the slides from this lesson on our class website. Thanks for watching.